Hey everyone, my name is Olav and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple traffic light animation in Blender. So let's get started. Now you want to start off by switching to cycles, which is a lot more realistic in terms of shading. And click X to delete the default cube and X to delete the lamp. Then you want to go and add a cylinder, which is going to be the pole of this uh, traffic light. So click S to scale it down. And then you want to click S and set to scale it on the Z axis. And the next thing I'm going to do is to make the um, cylinder smoother because the poly counter is not very high. It's just 40, 34 faces. So we're going to add mean crease on the top, hold in shift while you select. And then select the other one and then click N to make the settings pop up. And then increase the mean crease value to 1. This means that this area will stay flat when we later smooth, the, smooth down the surface of this cylinder. Now click N to remove it. And go into modifiers and add a modifier. And it's a subdivision surface. Now increase the view count to 2 so that you can see how it looks on the render. And it's a lot smoother. And now we're gonna left click on the top to add a 3D cursor and add a cube, which is gonna be the box for the traffic light itself. Now scale it down. You can use S followed by X, Y, and Z to scale it on the different axes to make the shape you wanna have. So just try scaling it and make it look kind of what I'm making right now. And as set, I'm now scaling on the set axis. And as X to scale on the X axis, make it thinner. And I'm starting to like this shape, but we're not just going to have this uh, flat shape, we're actually going to make it softer. So we're going to go into edit mode. And then I'm going to click Control B. To beveled edges and you can also use the mouse wheel to add more edges to the bevel so I'm gonna add a few edges to the new bevel to make it smoother the more you add the smoother it gets so left click to confirm and I added five uh, edges to this one for segments I'm gonna select this face click GX to grab on the x-axis to give it kind of a hole for the lights to be in. And then we're going to go back to object mode. And I think I'm just going to make it a little bit taller. So I'm going to scale it on the set axis. So click S, then set to scale it on the set axis. And I'm also going to grab it a little bit up on the uh, set axis. I click left click to add a 3D cursor. And I'm going to add a new cylinder. Now click R, Y, 90 to rotate the cylinder 90 degrees on this y-axis and then click S to scale it down and grab it G set on the set axis and just scale it down. I'm also scaling it on the x-axis to make it thinner because it's just going to be a very flat lighting or just flat light. Scaling it down just make the shape you want to have, or the sizes you want to have. Now click set to go into wireframe mode, and then go into edit mode. And I'm going to select the two faces, hold it shift, and then click N. And then increase the mean increase value to 1, as we did before. So that when we use subdivision surface, it will not be blocky like it used to be. So now it looks a lot better. The next thing I'm going to add is an array modifier and an array modifier lines those up and duplicates them. So I'm going to add three of them and increase the offsets so that they have some separation. And I'm going to grab them on the set axis G set to grab it on the set axis. And after we apply them, you will see that it's one 
solid objects. So I'm going to click apply. So we have to go into um, edit mode and make them into separate objects. Okay, now start off by clicking set to go into wireframe mode. And we're going to go to edit mode. Now we're going to click B to select them. So select one of them and click B to separate them by selection. And then we're going to click on the next one or select the next one, B. And after you have selected the whole second light, just click P, separate by selection. And now we have three separate cylinders that we're going to turn into lightings or lights. So I'm going to start off with the first one and we're going to start adding materials. And the way we're going to make the lighting is that we use a um, mix shader and then we're going to add a um, emission shader and a um, glass shader so that we can switch between those so you can see the factor down there. But before we do that we're just going to add a like a ground because we're going to start adding some lighting. Just scale it up with S. And we're going to add another plane. We're going to click R to rotate, G to grab, and then S to scale. And we're just going to use one lighting in this scene. I have a three point lighting uh, tutorial if you want to see that on my channel. So just add a emission shader and bump up the strength to uh, three and go to rendered mode. And we still have to add some materials to the floor. I'm just going to make it dark. I think I'm just going to make everything kind of black, darkish. Just make this one darker. And do the same to the box itself. Or I can just use the material from uh, the pole. Okay, so now we can start adding the lighting itself. And of course you can add um, world color, just make the background darker. And you have kind of like a nighttime scene. When it's going to focus on that, this is, tutorial is mainly for the lighting or the um, traffic light itself. So I'm just going to start animating that. Okay, so start off by adding an emission shader. This is going to be our red light. And I would actually recommend to bump up the strength to 5 on this shader. And the next one is going to be the glass shader. So go to the top and find uh, the glass. And now you can see we can switch between emission and glass. And that's what we're going to animate later. And at the end of this tutorial, I will show you how to use keyframes to animate uh, the change in the factor so that the light turns on and off. Okay, so go to the second light now. This light is going to be yellow. So add a new material and use a mix shader. And the first shader is going to be an emission shader, like we did on the first material. So go to emission and change it to yellow. Again, if you want a strong light, you can just change to uh, five on the strength. Okay, now we have the glass and we have the emission. And it's possible to animate it. So let's go to the last light. And this one is going to be green. So add a mix shader, add an emission shader. And 
make the color green and the shader is going to be glass okay and now again make the factor go down to zero so that you have a full light and before I start animating this I just want to set up the camera now to go into the camera you just click numpad zero and I'm going to use the fly cam in this tutorial so just go back to solid mode and then click on the camera to select it and then click shift F to use the fly cam mode and it works just like in a game you use W, A, S and D to move around and then click left click to confirm and as you can see rendered mode we now have it on the side as in the finished animation so let's start animating it I'm just going to save it so click, give it a name. I'm just gonna make a new folder for this one. Traffic, and write in the name you want. Okay, so let's start animating this. Okay, so we're gonna start off by having the red light on and the other lights off. So just turn those off, increase the value to 1, which makes them turn off. And then we're going to start keyframing those values. So click I to keyframe the value. Then select this one, click I to keyframe, and the last one, I to keyframe. And then we're going to move forward in time. And in the first frame, I'm just going to leave the light on for the red one. So I'm going to click I again and then I and I for the last one and now after this frame we're going to change the colors so that the red one turns off and the yellow one turns on so let's move 10 frames forward and what we're going to do now is to oops I chose the wrong one I'm going to select the lamp and then increase the factor to 1 so that it turns off and I'm, then I'm going to click I then I'm going to select the yellow light and make down to zero and I so as you can see there's a transition where the red turns off and the yellow turns on okay so let's move 20 frames forward I'm going to keyframe it keyframe again and keyframe the green lights and then we're gonna move 10 frames forward and we're going to turn on the green lights and turn off the yellow lights so for this one increase the value to 0 and then click I and increase this value to 1 and click I and if we go back and see the animation we will see that the yellow lights is on a few seconds and then it turns down to the green one so we click play as you can see it works now there is something I want to change as you can see on the top lights it has kind of like a uh, white uh, color on it so I'm just gonna grab the lighting scale it up make it different and if we go back to number zero you can still see that we have some problems so what I'm going to do is to go into the roughness and make it so that the gloss is not that reflective so that it looks the same at all times so I'm gonna select this material and I'm going to go down to roughness in the gloss shader and I'm going to increase it to 1 and then I'm going to do the same for the other one for the yellow lights and increase the roughness value to 1 and as you can see now it's, they all look the same okay so we now have a finished animation and the lights are working 
and I think it's time to start rendering the finished animation and actually make it into a fully rendered like high definition render and the way to do that is to go into the camera or click the camera icon and increase the quality to 100% and find a place you want to save it on outputs and then click H264 and on encoding you're going to click either QuickTime or MPG4 which is MP4 and then you're just going to click animation and start rendering it and that's it for this tutorial if you want to see more tutorials in this format just subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching